You're using images in your Power BI reports, however, they show up squared. And what you're looking for are circular images. Now, how can you achieve that? In this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to do exactly that. Now, how easy these are, that depends on your situation. Let's have a look together. But let's start with the most ideal scenario where you have direct access to the image files that you're using in your Power BI report. Now, in PowerPoint, you could simply add your image, then go to picture format, and then use the crop to shape feature, and then choose a basic shape like an oval. And that's it. Now you can right click on the image and save as picture. And then once you have the circular versions of all your images, then of course you need to update the links to these images in your data set. So in my report, I could go to the new card visual, then formatting options, images, and then here I'm using as image type an image URL, then click on the FX button, and here I can use that new column with the circular image links. Now, but let's say that you don't have the convenience of having these images, these image files directly on your laptop. Then what can you do in that scenario? Well, in that case, we have an easy solution and a bit more difficult solution. Now, let's start with the easy one. If your images always show in exactly the same position, then you could just create an overlay that's circular. So let me show you, I can go over here too insert image. Now here you see I created a mask which is white on the outside and transparent in the middle. I'm just going to overlap it with the employee images. And you see, boom, we have it showing circular. However, this might not always work. For example, if you're using your images in a table, right? As soon as you start scrolling, well, you will see that overlay. So in this scenario where an overlaying mask doesn't really work, and you don't have access to the image files or there are just too many and new ones showing up every day, well, what to do then? Now we get to the trickiest option. However, can be very effective. Let me show you. We can actually create a measure that takes the image and makes them circular using SVG. So here you see I have a measure called image circle. Then here the first variable takes the image and then I'm going to use that variable inside of some SVG code. Now, the relevant part here is this. We create a clipping path with the ID circle view. Now, the parameters that you fill out here depend on how big the SVG and the image is going to be. And this, I basically apply as a mask to that image. All right, now let's see if that works. Images, FX, all data, and here I'm going to use that image circle measure. And you see, perfect, it is working. We have circular images of our employee. 